hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Star Destroyer Gaming, and uh, today I'm very excited to do another divisional guide. Today we'll be reviewing the 35th Ya DeSanto Sturmoviki Brigade. I think that uh, most of you guys will forgive me for not quite getting that one right because it's a toughie. That's a toughie right there. Alrighty, so uh, today I'm going to kind of go through some, some gameplay of the division. Uh, have a little voiced guide going here. Kind of show you what I believe to be the best way to use this division and uh, just show you some tips and tricks you know so that in your own games maybe you can uh, use this uh, division's unique strengths a little more effectively. I know this division is a little infamous because of buffs and nerfs and you know all sorts of things and let me tell you I had a hard time with this division trying to learn it, uh, get good, I mean literally get good with it. It was hard. Um, but it's been recently buffed, it looks like it's in a good state, and uh, this is the place that Eugen says they want this division to be in, so I'm excited to kind of uh, show it off here. Let's just move a bad boy up. Love these newly added Afghanskis with the no radar. Uh, radar is, uh, you know, I'll happily take non-radar vehicles and endless supply. Okay, so let's get to just a couple of these guys here. So I shouldn't have to say this right, but I mean this division is helicopter, infantry, air focus, right? And so, as an infantry deck, right, where are you going to use it? You're going to use it to control the open ground, uh, the open space, uh, around uh, some of these uh, of these sectors here. Let's get another one right in that corner. Unless some AA, maybe you'd better have AA in that corner, right? Let's throw, uh, let's, oh man, see, these are so good, like, for their price, it's so good. But, yeah, we'll throw one of them down, all right. Although they do not have forward deploy. And we'll get it right here to kind of cover the flank, right? It's got some good flanking fire, so we're going to control the center area. You know, you could use this division here with the AGTMs. This is like a really unique lane type, you know, lanes this way, lanes this way area, but probably better to use them in the forest, right? And if we lose the forest, then you can just put up your medices and your AGTMs all along this tree line and just shoot them as they come out, right? Out of the tree line, so... Good situation, good defensive division, offensive in the forests. Can't, if I get to here, though, I can't push. You can't push out against armor, especially. You can't not do that because uh, you're not going to succeed. we got two airborne divisions here, so facing our, uh, almost certainly facing either one or both of our American compatriots here. So hopefully you don't just get rushed by aircraft. We do have two AA guns. Uh, you know, hopefully that should be enough, right? Just saying that makes me feel like we're going to get overwhelmed. But, uh, you know, it does not even matter. Let's get all you guys, push them up here, right? Uh, squeeze them in, squeeze them in. You did notice I didn't deploy any recon, but there's nowhere here that really seriously needs recon. I do want to put some here, though, to kind of view the side of the battlefield, use a tank maybe someday to just kind of pop targets there. But we'll see how things treat us. We got our CV thrown in. Real debov. I don't know. Grug. Grug's here. So real debov, right? So, heavy tank division, looking like center, hopefully. I would appreciate some support, you know, so. Anyways, I just gotta wait for this battle to start. Uh, oh, and then, you know, right here, this guy's the Frenchies. Uh, you know, French armor. They will probably, they, it's a good chance they'll come here too, but you never know. Sometimes there's just a random ass tank division. will say, yep, we'll push through the center force here. Doesn't even matter, right? But uh, with divisions, obviously, you want to know the right engagement ranges and everything, so... Uh, these guys are, are specialized for the forest, in particular these like Terminator level squads here, the 60 point squads with uh, 12 men, Spetsnaz, extremely high level, right? Uh, double up uh, with RPOs, shred the enemy. And then I've got them in pairs of these and then pairs with these. And all these guys are here to do is really kill tanks. I mean, I could put these with them too, but I want to have more anti-infantry firepower, but these are the same. like. This thing will, these will murder, murder, murder tanks, right? So just pair them up, fight, and then uh, we got plenty of helis here. So um, <laughs> I appreciate the show of support. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move my helis here, right? Uh, and uh, get some pushed out here. These helis are nice because, you know, I, I use these helis exclusively for infantry support. We got these in the heli tab. We have, and uh, we have, uh, and then we have reconnaissance helis here, right? And 
and this does have AA capability. So over Gisa, you know, you can fly those over. But my goal is just to bounce over, wipe a squad or two, and then pull back the heli. Like, don't get him in extended range engagements. Don't try to shoot long range. Not worried about that. If it just so happens there's like enemy tanks totally unprotected, maybe this guy can show up. But this isn't very effective usually, if only because the enemy can just automatically like launch an aircraft, like sacrifice an AA fighter and destroy it. So it's usually not worth it. But these are cheap, right? Cheap, cheap, cheap. And uh, relatively speak for helis, and so more usable. I am very stressed, right? I feel like the enemy is just going to barrel right here and we're going to be right on top of each other. So we're just going to have to see what happens. I'm glad I offloaded here. I thought about offloading like all the way here and then up here, but then it was just like, no, that's not going to work, right? So yeah, unload now, please. <laughs> You're making me very nervous. Okay, those guys are out. See, look, I think that they probably know. So let's just, oh, oopsie daisy. Yeah, move right along the road, right? And pop any vehicles that come down the road, right? That's the mission objective for these guys. And uh, let's get some recon out to this corner here. And uh, I wish I could put some recon here, but I can't at the moment. So, you know, I don't think, I can't believe these are both like, okay, well, let's, let's get some more AA going, right? Nothing wrong with some extra AA, especially when I'm facing American helis. Yep, there we go, right? We are facing a truck or something. Yeah, the LRA-50, so looks like it's that, uh... Let's get out of the way there. Run away from the auto cannon. Don't engage it. You gotta keep these guys focused on their targets, right? And they will shred. And they will shred away. Okay, they're about to get a nasty surprise. We're about to roll up on them with these guys. Here they go. Right, nice, nice. And we're gonna pull these back. All of you guys, come on, pull back, and we'll get you a logistics truck. We'll put one on right here. These guys will keep the pressure on these guys and get some resupply going here. A little worried about that big clarier is popping me, so I don't want that to happen. Let's throw uh, this guy, this guy, uh, this guy here. Sorry. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah. If the enemy decides to just like sacrifice, you know, a plane, uh, or you know, he's gonna make it out probably in that case. But oh shit, that's not good. Come on, buddy, land. Okay. Come on. Drop. 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 Oh man, look at you. You can't land worth a damn. You deserve to explode. Uh oh, I'm a little nervous about this. Go oh, gosh. If that guy pushes, he's gonna die. Can't believe that none of those guys survived the crash there, but I think that heli pilot um, deserved, uh, deserved to die there for not getting his craft on the ground in any adequate way whatsoever. That was disgusting. Okay, I'll move these guys through here, a little side forest push. And then I want to get these guys with them to replenish, right? Because we want to have AT and a anti-infantry, right? In the same group. I'm a little stressed about enemy AA here maybe popping up, but I, I'm not thinking it'll be an issue immediately. I'm not sure, though. I just don't want those eclairieux, whatever you call them. I don't want to sound too French there. Popping up and fucking giving me a hard time, right? So... go there, you go there. We'll, we'll keep our guys pretty densely packed, right? And I'm seeing a ton of pressure, so I'm going to... Okay, yeah, there we go. Now we're seeing some bad guys, right? So... Looks like they're going to engage and destroy that 20mm cannon vehicle. Nice. Oh, there's the Eclairiers. See, I just didn't want them side-shotting my Afghanskis or something. I would be surprised if they decide to throw a... Oh, shit. Away from the Mistral, please. Yeah, see, like, it's just touch and go, right? Like, you just engage, you run, engage, you run, engage, you run. Maybe I can use my last rockets on those mechanized rifles. I don't know if that's greedy or not, but I think it could be a little fun time. Okay, I forgot low-key that that's not a lot of supply for these units, so I need to get them additional supplies going. Yeah, you're going to get them. Yes, sir. Yeah, you fire those rockets off. Ooh, nice. see, yeah, I get those, that airborne. I love supporting my allies. Okay, let's pull back here. And uh, let's unload this. I don't know why these guys are... I'm nervous that they'll get hit from the tree line, so... 
I like to disembark early, although some players are like, that's nuts, like some players would never do something like that. And we're gonna have a mobile. Man, when you pull back, I need you guys to engage that uh, guy right there, or you're gonna die. There we go. Okay. Yeah, these guys already need new supply, but look, we haven't lost any of our guys yet, right? Which is good. It does look like the enemy is moving in here. Ooh, you unload, please. Let's get these guys back. Yeah, we're only, we only lost guys to the airstrikes, which means, I mean, we are managing our units well, right? But we also don't want to be losing that many guys, so that's not good. Let's move these up to try to give our guys a little bit of a break here. Clearly there's enemy infantry lurking about, so we're going to need to clear them out as well. Ooh, man, you guys got savage there. Only one Spetsnaz unit, so uh, take that as a lesson, right? As you can see, uh, the, we haven't lost any guys against enemy infantry squads. I mean, we've been smart about managing it, but like, I mean, we haven't lost a single guy in that department. It's all been aircraft, because our aircraft are that good. Like they are. Oh, nice hit there. Buckaroo, I'd like to see that. Already needing more supply up here. Did I dispatch reinforcements for them? I don't even know. We're going to need another Spetsnaz with these guys. And I'm just thinking, honestly, we just need more AA because I want to really not, like, I want to discourage my opponent there from keeping using that because it's getting kind of annoying. Okay, you can stop, right? There you go. Oh, yeah, they're going to die, right? I just want to protect these squads, keep their integrity intact. I do want to kill him, though, right? Let's get them back. All you guys back. Spetsnaz is almost healed, so we'll move this over. Land this guy here. I don't know how enemy AA is going to be. And uh, I guess we'll get some more of that here. Now, I do know that there's enemies here, right? So let's try to find them, right? Oh shit, there goes the Shulka. Okay, this guy's out. Run away. Yeah, it's looking a little sus here, right? The situation's not looking so good, just because we're kind of getting pushed back. We are by ourselves, but I'm only... There goes those guys. Okay, keep her moving now. Keep moving, fellas. Let's just try, I don't know how this guy's AA is, but let's just try to, you know, see if we can pop some infantry there with those guys. With this heli. There's something right there, right? Yeah, I'm liking these Spetsnaz OPs more and more. Okay, maybe we can pop that DCA, because I believe it's radar guided. Oh, 50 cals are too strong. I'm serious, they really are. Like, come on, they're too strong. Please, Eugen, nerf. Please, nerf. My goodness gracious me. It's ridiculous. These guys are here, though, right? So maybe we can move out and start popping things on the road. Oh, there we go. They got two missiles off. Looks like we got a AA gun. So that's good. Just enough. Just so that the radar isn't on all the time. Just so that it's kind of on their mind. That they can't just use that stuff with impunity. That's why I'm deploying those, right? Let's get an, uh, oh man, we don't have a lot of points. And I want another Spetsnaz unit to replace here. Maybe it's the, like, you know, ADD. And <laughs> it's like, come on, let's get a nice, solid squad, right? I don't know what's here. I don't. I didn't see anything there. These guys should be on return fire since they're not already. I want to have a nice view of what's going on here. We will put these here, and we will put these guys right here, and hopefully they can pop some enemy vehicles. Oh, those 20 mils are just so annoying because they are ripping up my Spetsnaz squads before they're able to have a good effect on their target. Which is it, going to be on their minds. Okay, come 
on guys, get some shots on target, right? You can do it. Okay, and you guys have time to pull back just because I know that they know I'm here now, so no reason to stick around because we'll get wrecked if we try to do that. Don't know what the situation is here on the hole. Okay, let's get some recon right here and we'll view the side of the enemy. And uh, I also want to move in another, call me a madman, but move in another squad here. We'll actually do a triple. Whoopsie daisies. And clear this out, right? Nice going there, guys. Good stuff. That's interdicted the enemy. They're thinking twice now, right? So that's good. They are thinking twice. Ooh, get these guys back. Watch out for the flamethrowers, my boys. Yeah, they're getting wrecked. Nice. See, now they're like, okay, they gotta be thinking, okay, now there's enemies all in my rear areas. They're all over the damn place. Like, what's going on? So, which is good. So, these are good in 10v10s, especially, because they can kind of be like your mobile heli resupply point, right? Um, keep bringing helis back, keep having them repair your allies, too. There's plenty for everyone, you know? Let's try to be a little cheeky here and get a. Uh, I know there's an AA gun, right? So I want to take that out, and I want to try to just infiltrate this way and stay ahead of this damn artillery, which is constantly firing. Uh, and we've got, like, decent artillery of our own, but it's just a big hassle, you know? Ooh, are you going to bomb empty ground? Oh, yes, you are. Look at you. You are having to guess. Oh, no, you're just going to retreat. Okay. Nice. Okay, so the AA that I'm aware of is mostly down now, which is good. Let's cut these through here. And, uh... Looks like there's an enemy vehicle already there. They preempted me. Yeah, that's a good vehicle there. That's a nice placement, but it's not going to save you, kiddo. Look at this. The amount of supply I'm bringing up is ridiculous, right? I mean, donk, 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 so many. Okay, so I'm thinking that the enemy presence here is mostly gone. Maybe we can put a tank here as well and kind of shoot up this open ground. Who knows? Uh, let's get that Strela a little closer, right? That could be good. Because that thing, is, those are looking like juicy little birds there. It sounded kind of weird. It was not supposed to sound weird. We do have uh, these guys with AA missiles, so we can deploy these and pop that alouette out of the sky. That should be nice. Okay, and this battle group is ready to go. Oh man, look at that. Damn heli being a spotter for these planes. That's about to not be the case anymore. Okay, I think it's pretty clear that these guys do need a resupply, so we'll move up. Oh my god, so many missed. I was just hyping you guys up. Come on guys, look, you missed all those rounds. Are you serious? some supply over there too right so you can just see I'm just like supplying it the fuck up like I want to keep all my guys nice and you know nice and happy nice and plenty of fuel and everything else let's get some more Metis armed infantry here maybe and I do need another battle group here now this is kind of empty right so that's not supposed to happen let's just cut across there and see what uh, see what we find there get them up. Hoping that they can all move together, right? Move them up. You go back. Go home, kiddo. Man, those 20 mils are great at killing Spetsnaz, I gotta say. She's good that they're so chunky. The squads are so chunky that you can kind of keep replacing them, so it's kind of okay. But there we go again, right? Okay, go ahead and resupply now, right? That's how it's gonna work. Guys, you guys have need another sapper unit, which are you're almost out. Nice, see this is perfect. Get some, uh, get some support here. If that thing stops, I think it can shoot, so I want to keep him dancing. Can we just push right down? Is that is that okay? I don't know if that's even allowed. Let's 
did some recon down the center lane. I didn't even think about doing that. It's kind of busted though. I'm kind of liking that tank right there. It's like, damn son. Hell yeah. Take them apart. Yes sir, let's go. Oh, these guys are all out of their like supplies or whatever. And it looks like we lost that to some devastating artillery fire. Okay, you guys can kind of push back to here. You did, I don't know why you're that far ahead. Don't worry about that, buddy. Okay, so this has been pretty hectic so far. I don't actually know how well we're doing if you really compare everything, but it's like, whatever, man. We got this battle group right here. We're gonna have these guys right here just kind of waiting to pop vehicles, right? Just sit here. Be very patient, wait for the prey to show up. And uh, we can get another commander down, I think, right? Uh, oh, yeah. You made a mistake, kiddo. Now you're gonna pay for it. Okay. Now let's move them back. They've been in plenty of action. I just want them to do recon now for the side. Don't want to do anything crazy. Nothing crazy. Just a nice little recon action. Nice and peaceful time. I guess we'll get. Tanks are kind of a big investment for this division, but. Let's go ahead and drop one on this flank. Send this guy back. Look at our look, our park is just expanding and it will grow it will grow larger. Like the Yangsa will grow larger. Okay. Let's go this way. Pop out this way. And I, you know, I think I'm just gonna set up a little AA battery here. Defend it with the Pulmechki. Nice little AA battery that'll be kinda closer to the front, you know, and something that I can uh, use for uh, my own defense and whatnot, and I'm just gonna, I don't even need this yet, but I'm gonna have to get them now, because, yeah, we need those too. Get up there ASAP, right? Okay, kiddos, oh yeah, time to pop commander and chiefing vehicles, RMP this dude, right? Monk, monk. Dude, what's in there? I have no idea, they're getting fucking shredded though. Nice, 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 we just shredded a whole column, oh my god, that's beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's pull these back to avoid the artillery fire, because apparently our, our opponent's going to do that. I do want to pop that, though. I'm just kidding. Retreat, retreat, retreat. That was too, that was too far. That was too far. Oh, look. We used that flop unit. It's still there. I kind of forgot about him. I won't even lie. Okay, they're dead, though. So we'll have that infantry unit pulling security to watch that... Uh, this. Let's actually get him right here. That's a little sneakier spot, right? Get him on return fire, just in case. Okay. Nice little covering zone for these lads. Whatever, man. We're just gonna... We're just dumping these snaps out, right? Because they're so... Uh, they don't really carry a lot of supply. They're so cheap. But, whatever. So we got some extra points now. So I'm just going to drop mortars basically everywhere. And uh, this, uh, my, I, my objective with that is to kind of... Um, look, see, look, they're bombing there. They're like, ah, oh, they must be there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to take this guy and kill him right real quick. Hopefully we can do that. I'll just put him right here. And hopefully the alloy should be dead in a second. Yeah, all that artillery... Is not. I'm just gonna put it on auto fire. It's not meant to actually like kill the enemy. I mean, obviously it's good if it kills the enemy, but it's really more about just keeping up our harassing fire, you know, and uh, just draining the enemy, making things hard for them. You know, they don't want to be just sitting there getting harassed and shelled constantly. So, and, you know, what's, what's wrong with uh, what's wrong with a little bit of extra AA, right? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with spread the love around. You better get off the street, man. You're gonna get fucking exploded. Okay. Move this up here. Where's our commander? Oh, he's right here. I forgot. Yeah, I look, he totally forgot I put him there. Okay, you are out of supply. That was fast as shit. You get up there, and you get up there. So, have some nice action of that type going in. Looks like we are just popping vehicles periodically. This guy already needs repairs. Big surprise. Nice. Yeah, that tank down the center line was a good move, it looks like. It looks like that was the move. That's fucking awesome. Okay, yeah, the infantry can 
take that. No need for you to do it, Spetsnaz OP. I think that uh, these guys got it, trust me. Okay, in a second we'll have a yes sir. Alright. Zone is ours. We'll use them on the attack, you know, because who cares, it's fine. Okay, look, these guys are strong, but once they're Rockets are expended, it's like, okay, give them a break, let them, you know, let them re refuel. It's kind of like a fighter aircraft, like, you gotta replenish the missiles for it to, like, be at its most effective. It's like, sure, you could just use guns, but, like, why would you do that, right? Keep the missiles, uh, stocked up. Oh, those guys are already out. Oh, my gosh. Time for another supply unit. Man, that sucks for him, man. He's getting his transport. No transport privileges for you. Oh, nice, that was kind of sus. Whatever, I'll move these guys right here because I do want to, you know, actually be controlling the sector. Kind of an important part of the game from what I've heard. Okay, everyone unload. Everybody fire. Yeah, you guys are firing at will. You guys, come on. Fire at will, fire at will. Okay, you guys are already doing it, that's good. I'm loving the vehicle poppage here, it's literally beautiful. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just slap two AT guns here and then an AA gun, right? And uh, give ourselves some cover over this open ground. Shaboink. There you go, son. That's enough out of you, boy. sit there. Yeah, so all that artillery is just gonna, like, harass the enemy, make things hard for them. Like, that's why it's there, right? It's not to not to actually destroy anything. It's, this is on auto-fire. I don't have to worry about it. And we can just Nona's or something that I would actually control usually, but just fuck it. We're just gonna throw them down too, because we got plenty of points now. And the enemy's not in a good spot. Look at us. Oh, poor guy. Goodbye. Retreat again. I was wishing that, uh, we get some supply here, it's about time. Yeah, pushing on left would be great, uh, because... <sighs> Look, they know the CV is here, so I'm surprised that they're not using more of their firepower on it. Oh yeah, counter arty would be great, please, please, please. Yeah, it's looking like this is not a good situation. There's just a lot of enemy infantry. Have to get that replenishment in. Let's try a little push here just to see if there's anything we can pop. Just to like put some mental pressure, you know, on the enemy. Okay, we'll pull these back to the supply trucks to let them get some resupply going. And then here, I'll give them another... I'll just give them some RPO and spets here to cover this. Throw spets kind of right here. This group needs to be stronger, especially because this is where the CV is, right? So let's give it the, you know, what it needs. That is juicy right there, I'm telling you. Let's run some. Can I buy another one? No, we can't. Okay, let's let's uh let's wait so we can buy another, and then we'll run some CAD over here and have some fun with that. Just uh, you know, a little bit of pressure, you know, no biggie. Man, they gotta be mad now. What is that? A tank? Yeah. Hopefully we can pop that. Always sucks when your supply vehicle is knocked out. And with this division, it doesn't matter as much, right? Because... Oh. Okay, it looks like you're facing actual infantry. That's not good. Yeah, that's kind of the hard counter. Okay, get back here, you guys. We're gonna need another group of supply trucks here. Okay, okay, pull back, pull back. Not in the open, you guys. You guys are gonna get wrecked. Let's get them back. Too bad we didn't use those. I'm not gonna learn my lesson, though. I'll drop another one. That's fine with me. I mean, you know, they are succeeding in pushing my CV out, so, I mean, I shouldn't say that we're too much, doing too much right here because, yeah, I mean, our CV is no longer effective, so. We need to get that back into action. Those no-nos are coming into play now. 
that thing's getting fucking shredded. Like, it's not even that important. They're just like, yeah, we're gonna bomb the hell out of it, man. Okay, come on, guys, run away. You're gonna die. This guy will cover you if possible. It's not possible, though, anymore. You gotta retreat. supply that we ordered is going to be here soon. Right? There it is, finally. And you know what? I want to keep two of them right here just so that we can push them up. Like surge, kind of, you know? Yeah, so these are, the Nonos are really nice. You can kind of use those, move them, mobile fire support. But in this case, I'm just having them on auto fire because I'm kind of concentrating here. But uh, those are things that you would actually kind of move around and avoid getting counter already and whatnot by, right? So those are kind of good. there, so no need to stay, you can pull back. You guys should stay right there, there's a nice little AA battery for me. Okay, looks like these guys are all ready for another push, so we'll push them back into no man's land, right, if you will. I got resupply right there, so everything should be fine. He doesn't seem to be using aircraft anymore, really. Ooh, we should have AA here. I kind of forgot about that, not gonna lie. AA would be important. It's a gazelle hot, too. Where is my uh, anti heli heli? There you are. Let's have a pot shot. See, these French choppers are nice to pop with those because they're so weak. Like, I mean, they only have four hit points, so. You can get some good stuff on them. Get some good work done on them, right? Oh, nice. We melted those air hurt rifles. Okay, let's push them back again. Uh, I guess they're gonna get. We're gonna stop, actually. We don't want to push them into artillery directly, but. Where did we lose those pulled Metschke? I did not see that happen. I don't know. I'm just gonna ignore it. So have you retreat, try to pop that alouette. He has not learned, it seems, that he can't be doing that. We don't do that here, so... I don't know. Okay, artillery's not landing on target, so we'll push him back. Looks like our artillery is having a good effect there, although it's aimed by AI, which is basically random. Firing into a cluster, so looks like they're having a decent effect on target there. I do want to see again. I said I would, but you know what? We're gonna bring up an AT heli just because I think we can use it to kind of pop some things here, possibly. And let's move it back to the Grosvenor Gros D here. Let's get another cool resupply ready. That tank is fucking busting, right? Look at, that. Look at you, you're a good guy. Oh, it was the Polmechki here that got killed. Okay. Well, that's good to know that if an enemy vehicle comes, we'll be helpless, so... I guess I'll move some support up in that sense. Hopefully we can shoot up their flank here uh, without too much retaliation with our newly arriving units. And we'll get you guys on auto-fire so that uh, we, you know, we always want to help support our allies, right? have the advantage, so hopefully we can keep things that way. Let's push there again. I don't know how many of these infantry he has left. It can't be a ton now, though, because we've killed a lot of them. Man, see, 
you never underestimate how hungry those these troops are when they're using those missile launchers. Like, they are thirsty boys. Oh my god, yeah, don't use that road. You were gonna get fucking exploded right away. Since it's a quiet era, I was planning on using these guys here, but there's actually not too much going on now, so... So we'll just wait on that. Oh, AA Heli, we need you again. vehicle guy into play. Well, those guys are going to shoot that thing down to the small arms, looks like. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Good stuff, popping those vehicles. Okay, come on, fall back now. There you go. Oh, you get back to that is a decent enemy a vehicle there. Don't mess with that. Son. Oh well, he's dead. Okay, let's get Siad mission going. See their ad. Nice, you return to base. You guys, please uh, do your replenishment of our forward units there. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, come on, man. Be back. I was like tapping. I was like tap, tap, tap. I was like, get the fuck out. Okay, that was beautiful. We got one, but unfortunately we also lost one. Okay. No biggie there. Right, these guys are almost out of ammo, so we will not have them as a factor going forward. I'm just not willing to spend the supply when we're almost out. I mean, look, we took freaking 24 cards of these and we're down to two. And we used one of our two there, so it's like, oh my gosh. You gotta realize, these are supply heavy boys. Supply heavy lads. Okay, we'll get these guys up to replace those, and we'll get another mobile reserve ready to go. See, if I was supplying my already, I'd be out. I mean, I know these have a ton of supply, like, I get that, but it's like, I can't spend all that. Okay, now we wait. I am considering a little push here. I mean, look, we do have, like, a couple of tanks. Like, we could push up and see what's past there, so I'm willing to give it a try. Let's try and see what happens. We do need infantry though for the second We don't really have a ton to spare. We kind of deployed all of our infantry, so we'll see what we can do with that. Nice, those guys are busting. Yes, sir. You guys go get it, son. Wait for a good opportunity to use these guys. Zeroed in though, they know what's going on here. Yeah, they know, they know. Looks like our compatriots are doing good over there. I mean, seems like a good back and forth, you know, so it's whatever. Uh, we will take that AT Akula now. I'm gonna try to pop that, that guy right there, those, those things. I guess I'll get another, uh, oh, we're out, are we out, stop, 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 okay, I'm like, you better stop, son, okay, there you go, go ahead and start popping off, these missiles are really dangerous, not because they have a ton of AP, because they do, but because they fire so fast, look how fast they travel, way faster than the Kokon, right, the Kokon thing, way better, much preferred, right there. Oh, it looks like our... I don't know. It's definitely a push here. It's like, wait, dude, I'm managing, like, three different guys here. Oh, nice. Nice. Hitting those. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's get greedy now. Like, explicitly get greedy and kill those infantry with the rockets. I would not be surprised if a plane comes down any second now, because that's like the best way to counter these, they're so expensive. Uh, looks like Orc has given it up. He's given it up, which is cool because hopefully the Hardy will stop being as effective. That would be nice, right? Okay, let's.
Let's push again, right? Push, push, push. Get greedy, see what you can do. Looks like Bork is displacing. This guy needs more supplies, but we're already out, as you can see. Okay, come back to Papa here, resupply. You come back and resupply, that's fine. Looks like there's actually infantry guarding this, which was smarter than having vehicles, because my OPs were just popping up over and over. Okay, go home, guys. You're drunk. <laughs> yeah, we got some devastating side fire in there. I was super happy with that. They just shredded a whole battle group there, and like two of those like top two tanks got popped. It was nice. What do we have? More counter already against our positions. Okay, that's cool. Oh, better fall back, son. Chief and stop fucking around, man. He's like, we're just going in. Unfortunately, we got two Streelas here. We're just waiting to pay them a visit. Nice. Yeah, these four-point helicopters are honestly susceptible to even just infantry. I mean, you guys already know that, but... It's definitely a weakness of theirs. Looks like this unit is mostly destroyed now, so we're going to have to replace them and just merge with these guys. Which is no biggie. Let's have you land. I really don't have any other helis, huh? I thought I had another AA heli, but I think we lost them both, sadly. Unless I only had only one. Either way, it's whatever. Resupply, no need to get greedy. You are almost out. I'm gonna keep you just because you got a little bit of energy left in you, right? This is gonna drain you, isn't it? Oh, come on. Repair, repair. There you go. Let's move these out here, right? See if we can pop any enemy vehicles. These are all empty. Yeah, it looks like Commander in Chief is basically taking over the sector and giving his giving a, a shot at it himself. Yeah, you guys are getting wrecked. How am I losing snaps? I don't know where that happened. Let's get those upright, replace those casualties. Stay back. Oh, I forgot this guy was back here. I don't know how I ended up back there, but you can head back to the front with everyone else, man. Don't even worry about it, dude. Looks like that's a little bit... That fire is a little too heavy for them to do deal with alone. Get off the road! If there's an enemy tank there, you're gonna get blown up. Oh sweet, okay, we got Chiefing is down. I'm wary about using these, because I don't want the AA that's probably right there to start destroying them. So I don't want to use helis here, just because it's a little too much. Oh, good try, good try. Buckaroo. I wish we could repair these units here. Okay, you need to smoke it up. That's not a winning fight. Let's get you home. Yeah, the tanks will take care of them. Okay, looks like we can lose those guys there, though. Can't, so I'm gonna move this big heli here and use it as a infantry 
my point now, because I think it's kind of what we got to do. We've got a decisive advantage. We've got tons of points in reserve. Which you nice and leisurely fly over. Not seeing any targets, it looks like. here just to have a little bit more defense right can't hurt I'm just looking at how many points I have and it's like all right let's spend some of this like, let's see. no big deal so we got enemy infantry coming in here RPO time as usual we'll see what we can see what we can find here too Send out the OP, see if we find any vehicles. I think the pop. Uh, they don't seem to be really doing that, playing that game anymore, so it's no biggie. Nice stinger. Nice stinger, you stay right there, buddy. Oh, we got a supply heli just landing there. Okay. Got a bork, borking it up. A landed supply helo. Interesting situation here. I love how this guy's covering us up in space, like, so efficient. Oh, he does not. I was gonna say, oh yeah, he does not see that at all. Nice, keep up the fire. Sweet. Good kill, good kill there. Oh, okay, I don't want this guy to get away. <laughs> That's a little juicy right there. It's juicy, come on. Can wipe those out, right? Okay, let's see what the OPs can find here. Nice. Gonna cut them apart, it looks like. Unload, unload. Yeah, I kind of gave a tank push here. I don't think it's a good idea against AGTMs. And we have the sector, so I don't know what we're worried about there. You did your job. Fall back. Then we can kill some random airborne troops. Man, running out of supplies sucks. Not ideal, right? Okay, you guys just stay right there and just wipe out whatever you see. That would be just great. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm really happy with our positions here. I mean, we've got so many points. <laughs> I guess we could contribute a battle group here and try to fight. I'm just nervous that uh, we're going to get them knocked out. But sure, we'll throw two tanks into the field here. Since our opponent is so passive, right? And I'll give, a, give him an Afghanski to deal with any Apache problems. Just to kind of ward him off, right? supply those be drained at least and then I know what I have for sure so who's left looks like Fern is still playing and slick Fern and slick so uh, shouldn't matter for too long I don't know why they haven't dropped a CV or though at least that would be good for them to do I think and Responsive to my giant empty, you know, snap pool. That's so funny. Okay. Okay. I always have a me back a little early because it's like you don't want him to get run into an AA net. But you never know for sure is there or not. Let's do that Apache. Though. That 
that guy's empty for sure. This guy's empty. Go ahead and return to base, you guys. out a lot of this, his units. I know it's an AI now, but like when the player was there, we knocked out a lot of his units when they were in transports. Uh, he did not unload very quickly, so that definitely gave us an advantage to getting those double kills like semi-regularly. That was really nice. Oh, those are recon vehicles. That's why they can see them. Let's get them back. So their tanks are coming up slowly but surely. Some light AA, or I mean, light uh, ground, just kind of impacting around here. So tasty, so tasty. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're gonna win. I don't need to deploy this here, but I will anyway. There is that Apache, which is a little stressful. Maybe they killed it by now, though. I don't know. I guess I should have given them a recent recon, right? Not do that. Maybe you can kill that stinger, who knows? Kill that thing. Looks like these guys are all empty, so we're just gonna push them all the way back just so they don't get accidentally shot by something. These are good because they can be a second line of defense if needed. Uh, they're usually not, but you know, you know that these guys have the tank gun, which is theoretically actually kind of okay. So, always an option, you know. Awesome, that's it. There's the game ending. What did we get? Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was nice. We definitely benefited from popping those troops there. I like Grog. That guy's funny. 10, 375 to uh, 1885. So, pretty good there. Bork suffered horribly. Again, I think just because my OP, I mean, all the commander in chiefing suffered too because my OPs were popping his vehicles, but. Work particular, the troops and together with the vehicles was not good. Although we suffered a little bit at the start from the bombers, we kind of got things under control after that. Yeah, that was nice. These guys, dude, oh my god. You will notice, right? I mean, these are not large squads. These are four-man squads, same as, like, military police. So as soon as they took even one man down, two men down, for sure, get them out. Get them out because they are very fragile. Keep them out of the way of Artie as much as possible. We saw bombs already wiped them out, right? So gotta keep these, I know that they look really strong, but you can't just, you gotta keep them safe, gotta keep them safe, uh, yeah, nice, 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 oh man, <laughs> beautiful, Spetsnaz is just polished off everything else, like, they didn't even have that much heavy fighting, uh, Strela, good work, good work, t four down that central line, nice, you know, uh, yeah, pretty decent there, looks like our Nona did get, like, one kill, right, three kills, <laughs> like, that there's not a lot that these I don't even see the mortars doing anything, right? They just see like one kill, right? But they're keeping them stressed, enemies have to move their transports, their AA. It's not fun, so these do do something, just not very much, you know, but you keep them there to stress out the guy when he's playing. And then those are the last two kills and move this guy up. What do we lose? Jaguar as expected, got a lot of kills. The artillery as expected, got a lot of kills, and then you know, you just got your casual fighting back and forth killing you know we of course it's impossible not to lose anybody so you know you lose some guys back and forth right but nothing crazy nothing here wiped out a ton of my units nothing wild so who's our hero special op not gonna try to pronounce that 
they were so poor that uh, looks like the communists didn't give them their vowel ration. They're having to use all consonants. That is rough. Chichmakov? Where are you? Chichmakov. You are to be commended. That's beautiful. Partially, I'm sure, because you killed that tank. That was nice. And these two nice, juicy, 80-point vehicles here. Yeah, so, look, again, troops and transport, troops and transport. So, um, usually, you may your mileage may vary. This is definitely a good, good happy game where we got lots of kills. Um, but, you know, either way, if you use this division in its intended area, heavy forests, right? Use them in the heavy forests. These guys are going to do well. Um... The helis are a little iffy. You notice we use this guy to pop out. Where is it? The other AA, uh, MI-24. And just pop some helis. But that was it. We didn't use the rockets. We didn't use the gun. We didn't get greedy. It's just go up, kill, go back. Go up, kill, go back. We did a little bit of scouting in our rear areas. Nothing crazy there, right? So be careful with your helis because they're expensive. These are 120 points each. And then... Um, this thing is so expensive, I would almost never use it. But in this case, it just had a good side shot. Think about the way the player was playing. He's facing straight down his lane. This was kind of from the side, so it was unexpected. You know, usually this thing is not that good. But this is a time where you can just put a heavy HTM platform up and have it do work. That was nice. And using the rockets on this is greedy. I'm, it was greedy. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it was nice. It did what I wanted it to do, right? tons of firepower but very please be selective with it um, other than that I mean I think that's pretty much the end of the video you guys we got <laughs> so kill contribution right if you're doing a 4v4 then four players on your team you want to have 25% kill contribution that says you'd be your baseline that means you're doing an average amount for your team right 37% we did above average for our team which is really good so I'm happy that we were able to have that effect on the game uh, you know 10v10s you look you should be having a 10% contribution, right? That's your average. So if you're getting 6%, that sucks. If you're getting like 12, 13%, that's good. You're doing above average. You're killing more than the rest of you guys. So that means you, you know, did a good job. So um, happy that we were able to contribute well to that game. Again, we were playing against AI for part of it, but I mean, you know, I'm pretty happy with a 10,000 to 2,000, I guess, ratio, right? I mean, five to one, a little higher, probably like five and a half to one. So good kill ratio there. I hope you guys learned a little bit about the 35th Ya Desant no Miki Brigada, or Brigade, or whatever. Um, hopefully learned some tips and tricks on how to use it. You know, this is a good spot, that heavy force, but never forget Gisa. That's where this division flourishes. You can just fly helis around, bounce on suspecting infantry, kill them, and retreat. Just again, always watch out for the, you know, cheap enemy fighters, or even, you know, not cheap fighters, deciding to trade with your helis, because they will take them out, so you gotta be careful. Um, anyways, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you would like to see next. Um, just leave it down in the comments, and please let me know if there's a different way you use this division. You know, if you like to, you know, maybe cover open ground with it, or s maybe the tanks are kind of goaded, I don't really know about, but uh, def I use them in support role here, but definitely tell me if you have any of your own strats, and let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, but for now, have a good day, and uh, this is your host, Star Destroy Gaming, signing off.